United Kingdom's Royal Navy delivers humanitarian relief to Caribbean volcano victims after an unexpected volcanic eruption in April displaced 14,000 residents of the Caribbean island of St. Vincent. The UK's Royal Fleet Auxiliary ship, Wave Knight, delivered 75 metric tons of emergency supplies to its capital of Kingston in June. Basic necessities such as bottled water, food items, toiletries, and hygiene products were provided. The 139 pallets of relief goods were donated by the people of Barbados and the World Health Organization. Various fundraising and relief efforts within the Royal Navy have been prompted by the more than 500 servicemen and women from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The UK government has also contributed £800,000 to provide vital assistance to the people of St. Vincent. The United Kingdom is a laureate of the Shining World Leadership for Caring Award, Shining World Wise Leadership Award, and Shining World Leadership Awards for Protection, Animal Protection and Kindness. A high salute, UK's Royal Navy, Barbados citizens and the World Health Organization for your caring commitment to humanitarian causes. In heaven's beneficence, may natural disaster responses bring people together as one as we move towards a more compassionate world. US West to possibly experience worst drought in 1,200 years. British newspaper The Guardian recently spoke with United States scientists about the June 2021 heat wave in the western United States that is breaking hundreds of temperature records and affecting the lives of approximately 40 million Americans. Salt Lake City, Utah reached a temperature of over 41 degrees Celsius, while smoke plumes from fires in Arizona and Utah could be seen in Boulder, Colorado. Alarmingly, paleoclimatologist Dr. Kathleen Johnson warned that the current drought in the western U.S. could potentially become the worst in at least 1,200 years and trigger extreme wildfires in summer and in fall. Dr. Johnson asserted that the severe heat is undoubtedly due to greenhouse gas emissions from human activities and called for urgent action on climate change. Many thanks for the important information. The Guardian, Dr. Kathleen Johnson, and all participating scientists, may humanity quickly embrace the vegan lifestyle to cool down our planet in God's mercy. National Geographic declares existence of new ocean. The global non-profit National Geographic recently acknowledged a new ocean on the planet called the Southern Ocean, which surrounds Antarctica. The water body has long been viewed by scientists as being unique and independent from the Pacific, Atlantic and Indian oceans that surround it, but it was not formally recognized. The Southern Ocean contains unique water currents that cause it to be colder and less salty than its neighbors, which also helps it to store carbon deep within. Our appreciation, National Geographic, for helping to highlight the unique characteristics of the ocean that surrounds Antarctica. In the blessings of the Providence, may we all diligently strive to ensure our lifestyles leave minimal impact on the majestic and protective oceans of the world. Researchers discover method to allow higher density lithium batteries to last longer. Scientists from Frederick Schiller University, Jena in Germany, as well as Boston University and Wayne State University, both in the United States, have discovered a way to stop lithium dendrites from forming on the anode of lithium batteries, allowing them to last at least twice as long. Lithium metal batteries have doubled the energy density of today's commonly used lithium ion batteries. However, the dendrite formation has so far limited their wider use. The new advancement uses a very thin carbon membrane with pores less than one nanometer in size, which makes the ions spread evenly across the surface of the anode, thus avoiding the issue. Way to go, all scientists involved, on your major advancement in battery technology. May your research help lead the way towards a fossil fuel-free future as we embrace renewables and the clean air they bring. In the grace of heaven, Mobile Clinic brings healthcare to the streets of Sydney, Australia. Every week, Streetside Medics and its team of volunteer doctors and nurses bring a mobile medical van to four locations in Sydney to provide free primary healthcare to those experiencing homelessness. Founded by Dr. Daniel Noor, a 26-year-old resident at the Royal North Shore Hospital in Sydney, the not-for-profit initiative has treated hundreds of vulnerable people with acute and chronic illnesses since its launch in August 2020. Blood tests, COVID swabs, vaccines and diabetes detection are some of the services offered. Dr. Noor explained, anyone who comes to us, no matter who or from where or what their status is, we are more than happy to see them. Thank you, Dr. Daniel Noor, all volunteers and street side medics for your compassionate endeavour, which is truly admirable.
In God's protection, may your altruistic work be blessed as you support our less privileged brothers and sisters in Australia with health and well-being services. Supreme Master Ching Hai thankfully presents the Shining World Compassion Award to Streetside Medics plus ten thousand US dollars in humble support of your lives improving effort. May angels always shield you and the people you help in heaven's love. New School in United States teaches vegan cuisine. The Vegan Fusion Culinary Academy was recently started in Boulder, Colorado, United States, to teach professionals as well as home cooks how to prepare the latest delectable plant-based cuisine. It was co-founded by vegan chef Mark Reinfeld, who has written eight cookbooks and won nine awards for his exceptional plant-based food preparation skills. A range of classes is available, including evening lessons five-day immersions and three-day workshops. Both raw and cooked foods are covered in the courses and they are conducted in a state-of-the-art premises. Wonderful news, Mark Reinfield and Vegan Fusion Culinary Academy for your new programs to help people prepare even more delicious vegan delicacies. In the benevolence of the divine, may your new school help to speed up the global conversion to the plant-based diet as we protect animals and love all beings. Electric carts to replace horse-drawn carriages in ancient city of Petra, Jordan. The Petra Development and Tourism Region Authority will replace all horse-drawn carriages that provide rides to tourists with 20 eco-friendly electric vehicles. The change was applauded by the Shining World Compassion Award recipient, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, Peter, who has long campaigned for the humane treatment of animals in the area. It operates the only free veterinary clinic in the region. Our gratefulness, Petra Development and Tourism Region Authority, for your compassionate consideration of the lovely horses. Also, many thanks, Peter, for your advocacy on behalf of the sweet animals in the area. May we continue to encourage organizers to replace the animals with mechanized vehicles as we pray for the end of all animal suffering in Allah's overflowing love. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully present Petra Development and Tourism Region Authority with the Shining World Leadership Award for Protection with joyful salute and appreciation for your merciful decision. May the people and animals of Jordan be always blessed by the light of the Prophet. May peace be upon him.